Hi everyone, Leanne here from Jada Blossom, and I have another fun Christmas card to share with you today. Hey, so I'm using Jada Blossom's Girl Gnome Dies, along with their Scallop Slider Topper Die, their Gnome Dies Hair Add-ons, their Gnome Dies Baking Add-ons, their Sweets of the Season Stamp Set, P13 Stamping Pad Skin Tones, along with Gingerbread Kisses 6-inch Pad, and their 12-inch Sticker Sheet. And... um the plaid polka dot in rainbow petite prints i did put that together on the gnome dyes hair add-ons assembly video so check that out so i have an a2 size card base made out of paper train card stock and i'm adding um, a piece of paper from that gingerbread kisses six inch pad from doodlebug i'm adding that down it's one eighth of an inch smaller i'm just put this red underneath it so i can see the outline a little bit better there we go so i can try to line things up. Now this is the scallop slider topper that was cut out of this pattern paper from Gingerbread Kisses as well from Doodlebug and I'm just going to add that with some ATG tape to the center. This is great for a topper but it's also great for a card. There we go and then um, on the inside I'm going to add a strip of paper um, that is roughly um, a little bit less than an inch wide. It's just what was trimmed off a piece of paper. I'm going to trim off the overhang with a pair of scissors. There we go. And then, then I'm going to add a sticker trim to that paper. There we go. Isn't that fun? So I'm just going to line that up. Now that uh, paper train card base was 5.5 .5 inches by eight and a half inches scored at four and a quarter inches to make um, a horizontal fo fold A2 size card or a side fold, I guess. Now I'm going to add this cute little piece of ephemera from the Gingerbread Kisses uh, Odds and Ends, just with some Barely Art glue. It's really cute. It's got some cookies in there and some treats. It's like a little cloche, right? So I'm just covering um, or adding that to the inside using my reverse tweezers. And I do weight it down. I'm going to take my secure white jelly roll pen in a number 10 to add a few little highlights and freckles just for fun. I think it always adds a little something, right? When you're using these odds and ends. I just think it makes it look super cute. So now I'm adding on my super cute little girl. But I will give her a little apron that was from the Gnome Dyes Baking Add-ons. And that is cut out of Paper Trank white cardstock. So I'm just going to give her a little apron. Isn't that cute? She's dressed in um, pattern paper from that same Gingerbread Kisses six inch paper line. Um, pure poppy bows and American Crafts yellow cardstock for the hair. And P13 stamping pad skin tones for the skin tones. So now I'm going to add the layered piece from this uh, same Gingerbread Kisses line from that scallop slider topper die. There we go. It's got little cookies all over it, which is fun. I will weight it down in between. So I'm pulling out the Winter Wishes stamp set or candies or grid style or whatever it's called. Okay, so I'm corrected. Winter Candies grid style stamp set. And I'm just going to stamp the sentiment Warm Winter Wishes using my Misty and a piece of Paper Trank white cardstock. And I'm just going to stamp it in VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink. There we go. And then I'm going to use the Gnome Dyes Candy Charm add-ons to cut that out. Pretty cute, right? So I'll use the, um, like I said, the Gnome Dyes Candy Charm add-ons. I'm going to use the little circle to cut out the white layer, and then I will use the scalloped layer to cut out some pure poppy cardstock to frame it out. So I will run that through my... Um, Spellbinders and a Griffin Mini Empress machine. So there we go. So kind of, it'll be super cute as a sentiment on the front of the card. So now I already have that cookie pre-put pre, -put, pre -put together, um, pre-assembled for one from the Gnome Dyes Baking Add-ons assembly video. Check that out. I decided I want to make it match what I've got going on here. So I've grabbed some pattern paper from that uh, Rainbow Petite Prints in um, Candy Stripe and Sprinkles on the sprinkle side. I'm just going to add it in pink. I'm going to pop up the little hands with Stampin' Up Dimensionals, the miniature ones. 
There we go. And then I will put this together. So I'm going to add my little gnome girl to the front using some ATG tape and some Barely Art glue. And I'll just have her lined up in the center. She looks super cute in her little apron, right? There we go. And then I'm going to give her a little cookie to hold because how cute is that, right? I'm going to have her holding a little cookie and I'm going to give that cookie a few little sprinkles. And that is from the shape sprinkles. It's called Sprinkling of Love from Doodlebug. Just using my pen blade to pick them up. So I'm going to add a few little sprinkles to that cookie. There we go. Now I'm going to glue down this little sentiment that is cut from that, um, like I said, paper tray and white cardstock and pure poppy cardstock. Layering those up. And I do weight it down in between. Now I have um, three little hearts that's cut from that same um, gnome dies baking add-ons. They're actually cookie cookies and icing. I'll be cutting those out of pure poppy card stock as well. So it says this says I hope your holidays are the sweetest from that sweets of the season stamp set from from Jada Blossom. And I'm going to stamp that in verse fine Claire Nocturne ink. There we go. Kind of a cute sentiment to go on, go on this card. There you go. And now I'm going to pop up this little warm winter wishes stamp set or sentiment on the front of the card with some Stampin' Up dimensionals again. Working on my Stampin' Up pad like I always do. And I'm just gonna line that up. So that red matches her little red bows. And now the three hearts also match those red bows. So it just gives another, you know, pop of red, which is always nice for Christmas, right? So these little uh, hearts were actually meant to be either cookies or icings, like little icing outlines. And they make perfect little stitched hearts to go on the front of your card. And they're, they happen to be in three different sizes, which is perfect, right? So two in the upper left and one in the lower right or somewhat lower right then you have a super cute little card layout there we go isn't that cute i just think that's adorable so now i'm pulling out stickles and that is in crystal it's got kind of like an iridescent sprinkles and i'm just going to add some sprinkles to her cookie avoiding those little or not sprinkles sugar <laughs> like sugar topping to her cookie avoiding the sprinkles just for fun Gives a little bit of glitz and glitter. And, uh, you know, if you don't, if you aren't heavy handed, if you just sort of dab it on, it'll dry really quickly. And there you have it. So thank you so much for stopping by. Be sure to hop on over to the Jada Blossom blog, Be Inspired by the Team, the Jada Blossom store to get your hands on some amazing products. And thank you, as always, for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye, everybody.